Hey guys, so as you can see by the title and thumbnail, today we're going to be talking about how the Raptors completely missed out on the trade deadline and who would have been the perfect fit for them that they should have traded for and why this move that they could have made would have been a champion, would have made, would have made them a real threat to the Warriors. But we got one thing further ado today. I want to say thank you to all of you a thousand beautiful people watching right now. You know, I really appreciate you guys for getting me to a thousand subscribers. You know, it means a lot. We're just going to keep going. But thank you guys for 1K. It just really means a lot. So, without further ado, let's get right into this video. The player that I think would have been perfect for the Toronto Raptors is Tobias Harris. Now, I think Tobias Harris is one of those people who has a perfect fit on every team. Just could fit right into your system. But I feel like on the Raptors, this would be a match made in heaven if they would have pushed a trade for Tobias Harris. As you know, the Wizards are looking for draft picks and draft picks. And what they got for the Tobias Harris trade, they got, you know, a rookie, couple draft picks, more draft picks. Bet you the Raptors could easily match what the 76ers gave the Clippers for Tobias Harris. Now let's move into why Tobias Harris is the perfect fit for this Toronto Raptors team. As we know, they've got Kawhi Leonard, Kyle Lowry playing point guard, and they have Serge Ibaka. I feel like Serge Ibaka is one of those players that should play six men. I feel like he's one of those players that can give a spark off the bench. And I feel like if they got Tobias Harris, he could definitely just open up the game for, for everybody on that team. And he's just someone you could give the ball to and expect him to go get a bucket. You know, he's not someone who's like, give me the ball. He's someone that you can give the ball to and expect him to go get a bucket. You know, he's someone that could shoot threes. He could drive to the rim, you know, and I feel like... I feel like if the Raptors could have pulled off getting Tobias Harris and Marcus Hall, they would have been a huge threat to the Warriors. Tobias Harris is one of those players who just gets it done on both ends of the floor. He can get it done on the defensive end, he can get it done on the offensive end. And he's someone that could fit right into your system. He's a puzzle piece that can fit right into the puzzle. Say if they traded for a ball dominant player like CJ McCollum, just to throw out there, just a player to throw out there. He needs the ball to be successful. As we know, he's someone that needs the ball to get to his spots and you know do his thing Tobias Harris you know when he gets the ball he's super efficient and he's super successful he's a 20 point scorer that can come onto your team who could be that second or third scoring option who could just go and get a bucket he's not someone who can ruin the chemistry in your locker room all he does is just add scoring and depth to your team and it adds just another piece that you can rely on to go get a bucket i feel like they only have a couple players that they can trust to go get the job done and if they can get tobias harris that'll open up the game for everybody on the court and that would increase the depth of the team and as we know depth is a huge key to success in the nba if you don't have depth on your team then you will not be successful in the nba and they would be able to put pascal siakam off the bench do you know how much of an energizer bunny this player is Pascal Siakam, he's having the best year of his career. A candidate for most improved player. If they can get those two players off the bench with Jeremy Lin and Fred Van Fleet to play that backup point guard, they have one of the best benches in the league and one of the best starting lineups in the league. Now, they can work this rotation a couple different ways. They can start Kyle Lowry, Danny Green, Kawhi Leonard, Tobias Harris, Marcus Gasol, or they could start Pascal Siakam with them too and have Danny Green be that player to come off the bench and get you a bucket. You know, they can work the rotation a couple different ways, but it's inevitable that this will definitely give the Raptors more depth and will help them out in the biggest way. And since he's just a player that can go in and fit into your system, it's not hurting the team in any way. And the Raptors, you know, they're a pretty good three-point shooting team, but if they can get someone to shoot the three like, like Tobias Harris does and go get a bucket, they're winning. I just thought Toronto is the best fit for Tobias Harris and I really think the Raptors should have tried to pull the trigger and try to trade for Tobias because as you know the Raptors and the Sixers are like you know they're both in the east they're both competing for a championship and you know Philly like they're trying to win now and Toronto's also trying to win now I think Tobias is a better fit on Toronto because as we know there's only a couple of ball dominant players on Toronto so I feel like if the Raptors would have pulled the trigger on Tobias Harris and tried to trade for him, they would have made this team a lot more better. You're so dumb. 
You are really dumb. For real. They would ask, you know, we want OG and Nobi, you know? I think, yes, he's a fan favorite in Toronto, but I still feel like it was worth giving up OG and Nobi. And also, they probably want a couple picks. And then, like, probably, like, Norman Powell. And I feel like that's all that I, that's all that needs to be done for, to get a trade done with the Clippers right now. Because as you know, they got Landry Shamit from the Sixers. A couple unprotected first-round picks. Both teams won that trade. And I feel like it will be the same scenario that the Raptors would have to give up. And I, they could easily do that. So, anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Please do all that good stuff in the comments down below. In this video, we discussed why Tobias Harris would be the perfect fit for the Raptors and why he would make the Raptors a championship contender this year. Now, don't get me wrong. They're still a championship contender, but I still don't think they're going to cast the Warriors. And I still feel like Philly can beat Toronto. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Do all the good stuff in the comments down below. Thank you guys for 1K. It's much appreciated. And we're going to keep this grind going. And I got a collab coming soon, so stay tuned for that.